about the track, about level six, uh, and even later on the level 11 where he can have that impact. So newbie respect banning it, but not for the normal reasons. I mean, it's a kind of new hero, or at least a new way that people have found to play him. I'm curious to see whether we're going to be seeing more. I, mean, I wouldn't say like more of what we saw at TI. At TI, we saw everything. It, it really feels like this patch, there's still so many different possibilities. The latest trend in the Chinese scene for these qualifiers has been OD Earth Spirits as opening. So Earth Spirits come back, ODs come back. We're seeing anything still possible. So this patch is in some ways still unexplored. Um, and it's still very open as far as which direction you want to go with your draft. A newbie, a first overall pick, Slardar grab, and they are doing it on the Radiant side. Bit unconventional of an opening here, gods. Uh, why do you reckon Slardar so early? Ten seconds, right? uh, he's, he's somewhat flexible because you can run him safe lane or off lane. Uh, I think one of the key things often you'll see with the opening two picks is that if you're picking cores, it's cores that you can change their lanes if your opponents do something unexpected. Uh, so Slardar does have that bit of versatility. And it's probably just newbie. They have something in mind. They have a strat or a style, a hero that they want to pair with the slider that benefits from the vision and from the minus armor that can really combo well with it. So I imagine newbie, some kind of life sealer, some kind of PA of their own, something that can really benefit from having the the amp damage is going to be coming out from them later on. Yeah, so secret going back to the well for the IO ended up working out pretty well for them. Pilai died. Didn't have the easiest game as far as. Uh, his early game went, but he, he found the track gold later on, and that made all the difference. And to back it up, the 4F Tidehunter, very s similar opening here from Team Secret. Man, uh, poor 4F, man. He, he went from playing like Axe and all these fun heroes and MVP, and now Puppy's like, you get to play Tide. <laughs> you're going to be a one-button hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're just going to have to get crushed in the lane yeah. or go to the jungle. Go to so. jungle with your Iron Talon, get your, get your mech up for the team, play all these team items. Like... MVP, you get to play Axe, get Blink Daggers, get kills, dunk on some fools, you know. Oh, puppy, you're a cruel, cruel leader. I mean, if Secret wanted an Iron Talon jungler, they they could have just called uh, <laughs> our old buddy Swindle Melons up, you know? They really, <laughs> yeah. to, should they really be wasting 4F's potential on the, the Iron Talon jungle Tidehunter gods? Um, I look, not. LD, I have no idea why they didn't pick Swindles up. That's a mystery to me. Absolute mystery. Oh, I do love my Swindles, though. I hope we get to see uh, quite a bit of him in the days to yeah. come. And, you know, frankly, I am rooting for Swindles to kick some ass and to finish, like, top five at the Major uh, and just to, oh, to shut all the haters up. He's He's gotten pretty far at the Major before, I believe, in uh, Swindle God, uh, and I, I am looking forward to his transition into the support role. But it's a discussion for another day, as the OD that was second stage banned in the previous uh, game of this series will be first phase picked. Great hero against the Tidehunter gods, uh, tons of burst damage to deal with Io. Uh, can really punish the Ravage initiation with a well-timed Astral and just an annoying laner on top of it all. Yeah. I think the new big style that has made OD come back is we're seeing a lot more of the max Astral and Prison build, uh, used mostly to push out lanes quickly. So this hero can go mid, push out a lane, go grab a rune, can be much more active and involved and just has this nice nuke damage potential from the Astral Imprisonment. Another nice thing about this hero is it can actually safe lane as well. You can send him against the Tide. It's a great matchup having a versus Tide, but the Razor Band makes me think newbie almost certainly are going to run a mid. Definitely uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, heroes to match up against OD in lane. As for Secret, banning out the Life Stealer, great partner for the Slardar. Uh, obviously, Rage, fantastic to have against the Tidehunter, uh, as well as uh, just to focus the IO down in team fights. So, trying to limit the burst damage, the pickoff potential. Newbie can bring to the table. Also, Life Stealer really good at, at zoning that Tide with some support assistance, should they choose to run the offlane Slardar. So, newbie. Still options open as far as the lanes, though. Like you said, Slot can go offlane if he's got the, the right matchup. Yeah, very, very flexible. And Secret are just banning up some of the Slada partners, the Jug, the Life Sealer, the physical damage that can pair up with the amp damage, uh, and that can be a big threat. Life Sealer, Slada combo, we saw a ton going back to the Manila Major. Juggernaut just always a strong, stable hero that has a bit more push with the healing ward than the Life Sealer brings to the table. Newbie. What's it going to be here for band number four? Uh, the storm does get removed. Okay. And mid one, talking about his play last game, you did see some, uh, some I think, cause for concern with Secret. Sure, they go on to win the game mainly because of track gold and one or two good team fights, but mid one was going in on his own a lot. One of the times he goes in after being offensively relocated, 
knew there was no way Pi could save him. A couple of other times, guys, it really felt like he was forcing it. I mean, he was known for his aggressive balls-to-the-wall play back in Fnatic, but when you add in maybe even a bit more difficulty communicating with your teammates, feels like Secret's still not on the same page. It is early days for this. It's a gel. Or just something <laughs> I think it's you'd rather he play too aggressive than not aggressive enough because it's a bit it's easier to start a bit going a bit too fast paced, a bit too deep, and then try tone it back a bit. And you want him to be that big playmaker. MP has never really been uh, the flashiest of players. Um, he, I mean, going way back, his Invoker was very flashy, one of the best. But that was just more like a hero thing. As far as his playstyle, it's much more conservative. Farms up, gets his items. He's a very stable carry slash mid player, mid one. Is, I mean, compare this team to MVP, he's the cure of this team. He's the guy who's going to make the ballsy plays that you sometimes need to win a game. That can turn the tides of the battle. And that's, I think, really, as much as mid one made some really questionable dives, he also made some really important ones later on in that game. Kung. This okay. really that popular. I just picking him. Saw the see the rolling. There's those break fight. I'm in. Yeah, I have the the reset. Kunk in half. How do you? It's great. I, mean, I think Kunk is the hero you can just first pick and will fit any draft. It's just a very stable pick. He's got the team fight with the, the ghost ship, the Coco's Rum. Uh, he's got that kind of slight roaming potential with the, the torrent threat to help out the mid lane. So I think it's all around a, a good pick. If someone someone like uh, OD or Slada can force the fight, then you just throw the torrent through the boat to try help out your team. So I think it's a, a solid pick all around. Is a deal in the form of the attack. He can get the follow quite. We see what the pair on a pick fairly frequently. Only need damage. They only have. They're there. As of yet. Yeah, they. Well, I, mean, I guess that's what they're trying to keep secret is what the big calls are going to be for their team. For Newbie, similar thing, like their carry isn't totally revealed yet. I guess OD can dish out some damage, but the partner for the Slar, that's some kind of follow-up for the OD yet to be totally revealed. But secret going to have to reveal one of their MP slash mid-1 heroes now. I'm very unlikely to see something like a mid tunker That would be a bit, I think, too out there, but fuck for now. Yep. Puck, stable, more super heavy team fight. I think Secret uh, saw what worked well for them last game, which was having the team fight advantage as well as some good late game carries. We don't see the late game carry yet, but that's likely to come out of MP's hero. Uh, for Newbie, if you want to contest that team fight, I, I don't really know what, what's available because OD Slada, like the OD ultimate's big. The Slada, though, is typically your off laner. They want to contest the team fight. They almost need to run someone like Slada safe lane and pick up an off laner that has that big team fight presence. That may just be an area they can't contest, and they play more pickoff style using the the slider. Could obviously fight. It, it feels like they need a team secrets oh. turn to ban. Ooh. I think more things. One of the stronger carries of the patch doesn't match up great against OD though. Uh, I do I do still think the heroes can be picked here. It's quite viable. Uh, otherwise, hmm. Anti-Mage is suddenly not great. The TB slider physical damage is scary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you look more towards the IO partners that are the big carriers. And the Sven, of course, the Tiny's okay. So perhaps a Sven or a Tiny. Yeah, if it's really can, though, I feel like... Yeah. Five seconds 
the jaw on him and focus. And then the thing. Yeah. Depends. So, there. Ooh. Does it? I got it. See. Nice. So, uh, everyone's favorite pub duo. I mean, there's a lot of favorite pub duos, but OG has got to be up there as far as hated what duos in pubs. Don't these hard things? Yeah, you want a Fusil Carry, but it's like the Fusil Carries are normally like kind of questionable heroes to begin with. Like, some for carry roles at least. Like, there's a limited pool of like Fusil heroes that you want to go. Like, Juggernaut's alright. You don't really want to get a hero just because it can defuse. I'd always be tempted to pick like a mage hero, but Slot comes out. Okay, this is this is decent. Same one. Someone that is. Yep. To. Honestly. That. Pretty much. Or. It's really the. I suppose. So. Is able to get far. He could get. Later on in the. I'm liking, I mean, similar to the first game, give newbie, I, I like these strategies, they're the ones setting the tempo, playing faster, pushing towers, but we saw last game, like, I don't think any means was an out draft based on how Secret could come back in the mid to late game track. This time they don't have track, so if they have a slow start, their comeback is just going to be winning team fights, and it's not going to be a fast comeback, I don't get that extra gold boost, so it's going to be, not even on a time necessarily, again, you look at newbie, they do sell very well to the late game, they got Good carry potential in the OD and terribly. Uh, as we're underway, uh, game two of our. Uh, well, uh, simultaneous. Um, I'm gonna say. We're here. Uh, this is an approach to hope that. Alright, we're back. A lot of. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? They see Oh, oh Fate's on there. I don't believe so. I'll see him coming back. He has actually got a ward on him, though. It's gonna hang up. Yep. yep. Like safely back there, so as grab that and getting the plane. The block now. Be on the conco with the early pickup when rolling for this for the time being. Yeah. I'm curious to see how these lanes go. Slider shouldn't get. Uh, he's actually right in his lanes because it's an IO. Like, IO is like level 1, can't zone him all too easily. Perhaps get level 1, like, Essence and try to get the fast pounce so you can ladder a bit better. But given the nature of this dual lane, he's gotten items to test a lane. Perhaps with lots of regen, a mango. He wants to be able to get lane out of, get experience out of the lane and even slow down the, the Slax farm. Yep. Early. Fun of chips for a puck player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just sacrifice in a bit. I think Poppy can definitely help. Uh, uh, got to move around using the torrent. So he's probably the one player that can get active and move around that a bit. But for now, he wants to pressure down bottom where Kake is the most doctor. Uh, I'm nearly out. Perfect. Well, show you up. No. A may chance. Um, I'm gonna go for God, so. Sure. Eh, yeah, nothing much. It's just poking and prodding in the lanes. Both teams are running the dual lanes in off lane, so Faith on Omni is gonna help out P. So we'll see 2v2 lanes at bottom for now. I say 2v2 bottom, but Puppy is already moving towards me, just probably looking to help out the pup through some RNs. It's kind of like the bounty hunter in that you're early game. Yeah. Doesn't really have huge amount of kill potential, he's just annoying. Puppy right now is throwing torrents, trying to make SCC miss CS, trying to get some free grass off, and he's being annoying. He's not actually posing a, a kill threat, just... Yeah, not yet, but that could change once you see some more levels on the puck. As Faith and KP, they do convert this into a, a full-on dual lane. The Slark, still so far MPCSing well. Faith is gonna 
work on Pi Die here has gone for the early boots grab and has skilled the Degenera. This is the lane harassment <laughs> build. Be very frustrating if you're not that good at trading blows. And Io most certainly is not with zero base armor. Looks like he's trying to rush a bottle. And that is not going to help you trade effectively with an Omni Knight. Look at ODC here. Last hits, eight denies. And that's with Puppy coming mid to try and assist. Yeah. And that's the thing, Puppy's five, right? but I imagine about close to half of this because Puppy's orange that he threw, so... This lane would be going even worse if not Puppy Well, now the Astral from S3C. Level 2. Mid 1, still trying to duke it out with him, but... Unless there's a little backup here from Puppy. No mana for the Torrent. Really offer too much lane support when you're out of mana as a, as a Kunkka. <laughs> It's still going all right for mid one. He's getting, he's getting at least enough CS, some XP, so he can. This is not like a, they have to set help towards the mid. But it's a, a game where SCC will have the edge. And meanwhile, U9 on the Terrorblade, 13 and 7 bottom, but they're not keeping Forev out of the lane. They're lacking on damage here, unless they want to commit the Metamorphosis. They have opt for the Point of Maledict. Saving that third skill point for now. Kaka may skill it up if he feels like there's an opening for a kill. But we'll need a good cast bounce to attempt it. Or just zoning now. Flops it out. Forever. Trying to soak up experience as much as possible. So, overall, God's looking at CS. It seems a slight advantage here for Newbie. And they do find themselves up a um, um, mild 200 gold. But overall laning stage, are you, are you pretty happy for either team? Or do you not really feel like there's much of an advantage just yet. Not so much. It's very similar to the last game, I think, where the enemy such Kunker replacing each other. Top lane, they will make a jump onto KP. Oh, going on the Slardar with the back of the Omni Knight. Oh, Often scary, but Puppy is there for the plus one as the neutrals do their best to deny MP, but he will not be denied here. Great rotation by Puppy. Didn't see him coming until it was too late, and the heal bomb can be pretty scary in a 2v2, but when you've got that power play, from a roaming Kunkka, not the case. Puppy gets on the board first here for Secret, and they are gonna find S3C in the mid lane. Only a level four puck though. They're still gonna look to jump here with the orb coming through. He's forced to pop the fairy fire very low, but not dead yet. Faith to save the day. Pilot Lidar drops to the tower. The power of his holiness, the Omni Knight, getting the job done. Whew. Okay. Nemo bottom lane looks like there's a kill on the side. Deep on now, that's the Terrorblade Memo committed though. Whether or not they can push with it. Got the Siege Creep again. Turn this around Siege Creep, but it looks like they're more interested in the pools and farm for now. They know Tide's coming back soon. This Metamorphosis is actually going to wear off, so recognizing they're not taking power. Unlike the last game where they had the Drow, they had three heroes pushing with a fourth hero, Mirana, ready to rotate. This time around, it's just two heroes and no one able to rotate. They're just going to play the farm game. But a great gank and rotation towards mid lane from Seeker. Unfortunately for them, Omni Knight was just ready to react and save SCC. Well, mid one. Taking a lot of harassment he's, here. And... He's winning the CS battle now, by the yeah. way. Doing doing well with the, the pseudo tri lane he's had, but now that rotation is towards the top lane, as we will see MP and Pylai die diving onto KP, but they do miss pounce. This could be a turnaround of Pylai die. The crush is there. The heal bomb not happening. KP instead just going to walk away. Faith doesn't really like the look of things, and in fact, Kunkka was somewhat in the neighborhood over towards the top rune now. Faith has got to be careful. Doesn't have to point and repel. He wants to chase on the Pylai die here. Is going to let the heal go. Leaving MP. If he hits the pounce, we'll get kill. And Yusha grabs another. AP now OTP. looking for the trade. And see ya. I am getting massacred by that heavy physical damage of the crush. Still sitting on zero base armor. But early essence shift just allows you to fight so well as Slark. Like you're not, yeah. Normally you think like a Omni Knight start up really annoying with kill, but if he stats, getting himself tanky, making his opponent as he does so, and hang out very well. And this in the Slark is doing a great job to yes, and he's helping it all by defending the jewel. By keeping it himself equally far and the CS. Even like the your team needs to be with gods, or is it much more just about the mid-game execution? I think similar to the last game, where even early on, it's it's going to lead into newbie taking objectives with Terrorblade Metamorphosis, and then it comes down to secrets, timings with their ultimates, how well they can play around the Ravage, the Ghost Ship, 
uh, whether or not they can execute their big team fights because a, a newbie who will be playing the slightly faster tempo this game. And yeah, Seeker continuing the musical lanes. Pylite Dynamic is journey down bottom is they want to try and equalize this 1500 gold lead or so that Nubia managed to accrue. Put some pressure on the Terror Blade. In fact, also rotating in his mid one. Great time to strike as the puck, but there's a Sentry Ward planted down. Kaka also out in front to try and tank this gank, but instead both heroes get caught out by the coil. The Ravage as well. Ooh, nine gets completely bursted. Faith unable to get the heal off in time. They may have gotten two or three kills the other way if he could. Also, the Sunder prevented there by the Puck Silence and the Ravage follow-up. Shows you how good the Omni is at turning fights around, though, guys. If Faith was able to get the kill off just a little bit yeah. sooner, it may have gotten three kills for nothing there. They knew it was coming. They had the Sentry Ward down. They'd scouted out the Invis Rune, I believe, with the Observer Ward. Fortunately for them, they just died past the Puck. They were close. So Puck was a hero sats off the tree. It was, he didn't even really have to use the Invis Rune, he used Hogmore. Really nice from fun. Get him to do the Nave. Rotate on. Rotating him at the first On the floor. 2,000 gold. Out in front again is an S3C, forced to move towards the top side of the map for now, just to ensure someone's farming that lane, but this will leave mid one. Free to catch up in the mid lane and then use the CS here as he's actually ahead of the OD. You mentioned he was leading a bit earlier. Despite the rotation, stays on top. Not too often you will see a puck even close to an OD's farm, but they make that move onto S3C again. The pounce comes through. Quick TP out. Is he going to drop in time? Looks like he should be okay, but off the lane, it's a very minimal investment to do so. Secret doing a good job at controlling these lanes even while Ravage is on cooldown. Yep. I mean, well, Puppy's stacking the Ancients for the team, and the the worst part about that bottom fight for Anubi in some ways was that Unai used the Metamorphosis, so he comes back to lane, they can't even push take objectives at a time where... I don't, I'm not entirely set that Anubi necessarily want to until they've got the Slider Blink Dagger, that's where they get really scary, but um, even so, it's it's just like a ultimate that Secret aren't afraid of. If anything, I'd say the Metamorphosis is as important of an ultimate as the Ravage at this stage of the game, so... Trading the Ravage for the Metamorphosis and winning the fight means Secret gets a, a big advantage out of that bottom engagement. Three seed, two cap, so the silence. Mm. Ruby really. It's. The one might be it's, dead. Not a KP. He's. This isn't a. Yeah. Deal. But. On. Egg. This point. Yeah. Don't yes. have any. Back as well as creating all the little tricks they can to get an early game advantage here. But yeah, the KP blink dagger you mentioned is really going to be uh, the big item timing for newbie that they can play around. They're likely going to smoke up as soon as they get that, bring the terror blade, try and get a pick off, and then transition that pick off to a kill uh, into a tower. Sorry. Meanwhile, MP does camp here. Pilot is the real target. I hope, or is actually easier kill. Or is he a, with oh, ravage. Oh, oh. Said MP get he force him back and fine mid one. Face turn on to Kaka, but he missed the orb here. Kaka might stand the stash and he looks to turn it. Kaka will patiently hang on to it. Faith, who also does tough. That is confident to put full lane. Yeah, they saw Tai TP top, so they know this bottom lane is a little bit exposed. And mid one also knowing that, like trying to clear out the creep wave, draw the aggro to himself so he can take the creeps out. And already secret, you can see them responding to this. They've got Kunkka down here as well. Unfortunately, not quite level six, but very close. They did the tome, so you can see secret. He prioritized that ultimate, to slow down the push. They will need a good phase shift here. Dodge the cap, all the death wards on the mid one. They need it. They get the kill. Almost probably live, but I'll just doctor face following enemy arrows. Really, nothing to see here. It was a great play for Kaka. Having the level three magic as well, maybe catching secret by surprise. Looks like they will defend the tower. Forbes TP comes back off cooldown, so they defend the tower. But New will be happy about getting a, a key on the puck, which slows down Blink Dagger. 
And hey, Secret, it's so annoying to push into the torrent spam. Like, the torrents just keep coming out, hitting you. The orbs draws the creep aggro off the tower. Like, Newbie have now tried, like, two, three times to push this bottom tier one tower, but always get met by resistance. Oh, see, up prune a time. Grab your flank dagger, Secret, get pushed for chase. Oh, I see that. Lark, out of mana. Oh. That baiting S3C was up. But now that the flank. You have to see it if you Well, KP, that first move. Anyone in particular you're looking for here is far? Mm. I'm thinking it's our location, which is bottom lane. I think a, a certain hero, you want to avoid fighting into tight. Um, but the bottom lane is the place where you're already grouped up and there's a tier 1 tower you're looking to take so you can gain better Roche control. So, yeah, you TP's bottom. Tide's there, which is a bit... Unfortunate because it's not really an easy target to go on. You don't want to overcommit to Tide. Uh, and they're also waiting for Memorphosis to come back up, but he'd be likely to be scouted by his Dire Reward as well if he, you know, he's going to poke his nose out. So he's been seen. Well, Astral just speaking to the thermal period in the lane. Looks mid one. The Gloves of Haste now. Save it's called. Be opting for the Link Dagger earlier. I believe there's a six oh, yeah, stab ancients right. here. It's elite, it looks like a five ever of six stab ancients waiting for secret. Huge amount of fun for them. They have tied to far. I have to go to hell. So, so he's getting there. Don't really feel like <laughs> newbie are good at jack ancients. But there's a of to come out. Triple, triple uh, black means that's plus nine armor to all of those. So tide isn't even going to kill it very easily because of that. Which is very Annoying. Maybe just slowly creep in the spot and cover him up looking up to initiate fight. They got out one with their observer. They have a lot of blink. Got some time here, but if they jump when Rev's backing them up, that rap coil combo could completely turn the tides of the fight. Patient. They're waiting. They're just gonna wear off. Oak's gonna wear off soon, like you said. Uh, yeah. The end, they just back away. And PLC everything. Makes you kill Kaka here. If and he the wants word to. Already won. So now the relocate comes up into the big Oh, can they turn this one? Heal couple. But the he does the currently invisible. The I takes all down. Well, but not have the metamorphosis to just fight with the to do the damage. He tries to bring down the Although there was a lot of damage, Draws want to finish off here. Just a little bit. The dark tactic, the torrent to fly. Is up in it. Secret pulls through as this fight later. Let's out for the fight. Very little fight. One flash. They're leaving the next center. They get killed. Turn back for MP. Show blades. Sentry is there. Maladie. You know. They'll see him. There's no one up for a pass. I'd help him. He really doesn't want to go. He would die. Not the people. Slaughter might clean up. They're going to put the time for KP. Silence is there, but it's not. It's actually a little bit. He's going to keep getting out of the fight a bit longer. But in the end, crushed up. Brought to the Puppy scrambling. The chase continues. Is the end of the fight. Eight on the score. This is bottom lane, and it's too long because they have a new so it's ready to go. I just want to know how much damage was thrown at you on that fight. Like, between the face destroy and the overcharge blocking damage and the tether healing up, they must have thrown, like, 2,000 plus damage at spot. Four of them may get caught out. KP has another question in a couple of seconds. Hell, he doesn't care. He's in the question. Oh, he's nice to the tower. And isn't some god? So just grab him. But for now, uh, the hill come through. The hell was a bubble. Did it? Off. Leap nine for the wolves. Instead, it's the same. Back from the rest. Instead, no, never mind. Back. I'm coming in. And if he pulled out, he goes for the wants to kill for It's not going to be so repelled. So by the time he says, the ancient won't. Instead, puppy. I'm kidding. Ah, what a secret. 
that after. I get a quick couple stacks. Like you said. Six. Uh, it's three six. Three. Oh, you're three, three dragons. Dragon. Two golems. Two and uh, old. Done. Either. There you go. Well, even with gold. the plus nine armor, the bonus HP, and the drums or the uh, clearing the sanction stack, no problem at all. I, like the the sustain on the puck in that bottom fight and pilot as Io just making huge amounts of plays for Team Secret to win these fights. They're just dragging the fights out, have this ridiculous sustain. The map four now as well, and that was just ridiculous how well mid one's alive. And I mind the pickup. He's not really been limited by not having a blink dagger this game, so seems fine. As the ultimate going in. Me too. Be well. Oh, speed. Exchange the Slark. But I have cards. This game's looking really bad all of a sudden for Newbie. They have got a farm Terror Blade, but the Slark is just getting out of hand. Unfortunately for MP, he couldn't quite get off his Shadow Dance that fight, but. Still secret. Fighting very well. Rounds and heals on their team. Are gonna take advantage of the. But my pick. Now comes through the response. Just a second. Oh well. I brought back the Texas Savage by Secret. Green head. This is the one right down side at one. Hey, Gen Gods, you sure love it. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Yeah. It was a full. It's a ris risky move when you start getting too many in the DJ. Even just the one there, something that he gets punished for and. That's a big kill, that's the net worth here in the game by quite a big margin as well. This Terror Blade is actually quite far ahead, but great chain stuff with the, the Ghost Ship into the Ravage means another kill going Team Secret way. And he about to finish off his Echo Cigarette, I imagine, and then he gets even scarier to deal with. It's just the levels of some of these heroes. Some of the Midas from Midwalk can be really powerful. He's just going to hit that level, like, 14 timing where he's got the max phase shift and can blink almost away from anything, and that piece is completely available. Well, uh, not up, because they're going to have to get dead, because he doesn't really aren't that. Too big bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, the point, anyway. Paladic. And the amp dash. It was on the Oh, yeah, slack. May yeah. realize they've seen them. And they get <laughs> I had no idea it was coming. It just got both on the heat. Um, shit. Or many other here faltered, but Omni is a pitcher. Full dip that is a slot. I cannot. Yeah. Much needed kills on the the Slark and the Kunkka, and it's not just kills the towers, metamorphosis up so this could be towers. 25 seconds on the Slark. You don't want to buy back your Slark at this stage of the game, it's just a need to now, but still an advantage that's been going his way to result, so nice smoke rotation from newbie. And they're putting themselves in a position to really... This is what they were kind of trying to do five minutes ago. Secret just met them with this brawling style that slowed them down. Uh... Slight myths keep maybe not popping glyph up. Alas, we'll take the top. There's the axe that comes to the first. Follow up. Fade off and... This is where the Iron Knight really comes to make. And that's the main reason why I picked it is oh. with this axe. Secret, they want to fight, they know there's no... D. D. It's the real game. They move to the next. Nice and early. This is Fidel. Being an early commitment to Fender, but he doesn't get the support he needed from his Omni Will end up going down as well. The kicker right back. So. Farm is in the meanwhile. You asked what? about at the end of the last game, like things to take away to learn from, and it was, it was just that. that. That's like the same. Where someone gets off and then you get caught out by the relocate. They haven't really learned a lesson from game one about how gets the IO. It's true that, I mean, you go back to TI3, the Chinese teams never really learned how to deal with this hero. Some of them started playing more, but this is this pick off and split push style of IO that can be so bothersome, and you have to adjust your entire playstyle when you're versing IO. You can't be farming and push lanes alone. You can't have a hero like OD TP mid in plain sight, and then the team caught out in the team there, so... Team Secret is a great job punishing noob mistakes. And he gets down a very, very nice up to to make earlier rabbit the OD on the side, fake on the other. Able again save his ally. Secret, vision advantage. 
taking full advantage of it. They now put forward full avail. But the next one and add another one for that. Well, for the blink, even scope for this combo. For Repel will move forward, but he is still a relatively low low arm throw. Careful about the circumstance. Deke will look muscled out, but to connect on two. No much for a minute. Punish the cast out to KP. Juki back. When they build, terribly ultimate. They've got a spell to be now. Punch the chip, but no, no easy. Up the top comes. Fire to save the day. Okay, I don't need to use it just yet. Come, but Rapun there to prevent the initiative onto the cape. And they oh, Kim well, and now in for that third kill of the fight. Dave on the first still slithering to the crowd. The amp tanky top of the shore though. For squish support. Come and he's fall. No, the hell. Will grab my disc. They got dish gold. Piece of the jungle, but also got they lose two. They put the meta. This yeah. is about to end. But did an MP? Oh, MP? Oh my! <laughs> it was a very <laughs> fortunate kill. Rounded out. He's trying to hang around in a jungle, expecting to rush, and knowing the meta morph is gonna wear off. I, I really like the decision that around. He just didn't knock it off. Because once the meta morph wears off, new people would be much weaker, and Secret wanted to fight. So shit. MP, slide up, go down. Come on. Come on here. Being low available. Five seconds. One. 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 Mid one's going for the steal. KP down and SP. Mid one's in the pit. They're for the fall. KP, get control. Push comes down. MP. Moonfucker, he cannot get an upload with stolen it. Oh, it all settles down. H for S3, C. Porter down for C. Even the. Ay, ay, ay. 181 again. Yeah, mid one. Dropped his dropped an item so he could open up an inventory slot. Went for the Aegis steal. It was all barely no missed it. For... <laughs> yeah. Been... yeah. I suddenly see him drop an item like while he's next to like an enemy slider. I'm like, are you crazy? He blinks in the pit. He was really close to getting it. That's two games in a row he's gone for the Aegis steal. Uh, and then he does stay alive for quite a lot longer because he's a puck, but eventually he gets taken uh, down. It's really bad for Seek. I just got Metam Bob. Look at this. He because the template doesn't just a less to build three Yeah. They have move in. Oh, what oh, 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 Says me to do to be take me racks to be one. Well, now I fall. Look, the side game. Slash Naya and it's very no bad. Any other person to create it's gonna be a tough, tough back here for you. Yeah, it's really hard now. They're getting picked off one by one. The slot kind of coming from behind doesn't have ultimate, so needs to play as cautiously. And they're finally finding. Their momentum. The level four repel. You talked about the point in DJ. Now he's finally maxed out the repel. And that was what wins them the fight of the Roach Pit. The fact that TP had repel, didn't get ravaged, and could just instantly stun it. Because he was taking a lot of damage from Roshan, from uh, the Kunkka who was throwing in spells, from the, the Puck Orbs, from the IO Spirits. But he has the repel so he doesn't get ravaged and just instantly stunned the tie. So he's full HP for the team fight. So repel had been very important skin. To, to, to the and they have a cool burst switch either. So even if, like, say the eyes late on his ultimate, as long as they're on the TV, he's just gonna be there. The only one he had is the yeah, shit, but uh, he just packs his It's not powered him down. Three, three, one, 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 one
Emperor Will as a new start ramp up their advantage. They were the ever beating game one. They failed to pull the secret. Game two. So start, but I'll bring through here in the stretch. Yeah, seeing the only I can bring to take. Well, that was one of their heroes we didn't get to really see up there. Same with OG, but new pulling out some new stuff here in the, the same old patch, but different team, different tournament, and ready to try and close the deal here in the bottom lane. 20 seconds to Slack, so he will be available for high ground defense, but still got an Aegis on SCCC's OD, so very difficult to fight into him. Uh, terrible. Does a like, no BOT though. Really, this could pull it. That's yeah. Fun to get back. But the what? That same. Or I might come. Four of them. Of insight. For... Soak back. All right, that was spotted by the the Wardo, so they seem to know this has happened. That feels maybe. Me maybe smoke. <laughs> tries eight. Uh, you know what? Forget the smoke back. Let's just beat on. They got terribly down. They want to go in the Omni Knight. They're trying to get that catch two freaking window and jump a hero for the repels red again. It's very tough. Gap it. Fuck it up the silence. Not hit Kaka when he puts the beat. It's a four for one on the system. That's the system. Given the rules. As you can carry. Chop from the secret. Pulling the map at the peak. We'll tell from. They got the main lane. Noob. Hero. Yeah. The the newbie supports are just playing incredibly well. They're positioning there, they were on the right side, hiding in the trees as they push. So the Slark was and Kunko were trying to come in from the left side, but they're they're just tucked away. They didn't find either of the supports. So it was a safety ward down as well, spotting Slark initiation and just great positioning, really safe siege coming up from newbie.